Now that in itself is not scary, but if all the regiments had their colours out the front, it was an invitation to battle. Yeah. Okay. Okay, step back. I'm not hurting you, am I? Pike, have a care. Don't tell them, Pike. Advance your pikes. Oh, they want me to go one of them. That's everybody. <coughs> Better march. March on. Stand. Order your pikes. Now the pike, as you can see, is a very long weapon, sometimes 15 foot long. Ash poles with razor blades on the end, razor sharp tips on the end. We have only got wooden tips on the end for safety reasons today. Now the pike's main purpose was to protect the muskets. Just bless them, they'd be hiding behind a tree or a stump, staying out of the way. Now often they would form what is called a hedgehog, where they would lay their pikes at an angle to stop a horse getting through. The musket would then close in between the pike and thus be protected. Charge the horse! As you can see, no horse in its right mind would penetrate this and the musket would then be able to fire through the pike. So cover your dressings. And because it's such a cumbersome weapon, there was very strict guidelines and drill. We'll do a little bit of that for you today. Have a care. Advance your pikes. Charge your pikes. See, this is an aggressive stance. And just making an aggressive noise could scare you. Well, scare some. Advance your pikes. Prepare to march. Watch on. And stand. Stand. We have to keep them in tow, I'm afraid. Order your pikes. Now the pike themselves would be issued with a helmet called a Morion. Back and breastplate and tassels to protect the upper legs. He would also have what a very clever thing to do. And of course he's discarded the tassets and the sword. The swords, by the way, weren't the best quality swords.